How can we make your content 20 times better without adding more work? I'm going to show you. This channel is about growing your real estate business with powerful systems and strategies that allow you to have more time with the people you love and do the things that you love. If that's of interest to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. My name is Alicia Crastell. Today, we're going to put four things in your tool belt so you can make better content without spending any more money. It's all up here and how to deliver it. I know these work because not only have I used them in my own business for the last 16 years as a realtor, but in my coaching business over the last seven and a half years, I've helped many, many agents convert better on their social media doing these. Number one is to add context in your content, which means you're going to stand out because it's going to look different, even if it's the same type of content. For example, if you see every other agent talking about decluttering, every other agent talking about the stats for the MLS, you can share the same exact stuff, but you're just going to add a little tiny bit of context. So if there are stats and you see price decreases and there were 34 last week, you might go in and say, oh, half of those are new builds. They weren't really this or that, or half of those were this. You're going to add that little bit of context that makes you look different. Instead of a decluttering post, you're going to go in and say, this is why we need to take these specific things out and why the buyer thinks the way they do about it. Same stuff. Just your, you already know this stuff. This isn't stuff you have to research. You know this from doing real estate. Share why having 22 homes back on the market this week is significant. You know, most people are just putting canned stuff and they're saying the same exact thing over and over again. Instead of, you don't need 20% down to buy a house. What do you need? And why is that important? How does it change? Tell them how they find out how much they should really be putting down. 99% of the agents are stopping at the canned response and you are going to stick out just by adding just a tiny bit more. Second strategy is being vulnerable, which is really just being transparent and authentic, not being perfect. That's where traction comes with people. Like if you hear me say, um, or I do something or like, you know, I mess up and it's in here. Like you're not like, she's a horrible agent. It's like, oh, she's a human. Not just showing the highlight reel, right? Like showing the behind the scenes of what's going on. Maybe you do have a hard day. Maybe it was, something was very stressful and you overcame it. You're not only showing all, everything's perfect. Because do you trust people that are perfect? Because I don't, it feels like an ad to me. Number three is think to tell a story. You're going to tell a story about what happened in the transaction, not just that you sold it. Okay, well, there are lots of agents in your community selling houses and helping people buy houses. What was different? And can you tell the story of the house? And don't get overwhelmed. This isn't like, go ahead and write an essay about what happened during the transaction. It's just one little tidbit that you got seller contribution on this, even though it's really uncommon in the neighborhood, that you were able to get a contingent offer accepted and they saw this was only their third home that they saw. Just a little tiny bit will go a long way. Telling a story could be in the moment too. So if you're at a septic inspection and you share a video or a picture of what's happening right then, that's telling a story and you just add a little bit of context saying like why you should get a home in, uh, why you should get a septic inspection why you should get this or that or how much it costs you see how i just like made a little mess up but i'm not going to edit it out because i'm a human do you think i'm any less of an agent because of that let me know below if you connect with people more when they're just human and don't appear to be perfect write imperfect in the comments Number four is going to change your content forever. You may have heard people talk about who, like, who are you talking to? Have an avatar, have a group of people. I don't think you should have a group of people. I think it's nice to think about that, that uh, this group of people is your avatar, but I think you should talk to one person, one past client, one current client, one prospective client that you have been wanting to win over. Whoever that is, I think you should talk to them. I think you should think about Alicia and what she needs and what she looks like and what she thinks and how she talks and deliver content for that one person. I'm going to give you an example. I have, I know a future client who wants a new build in Baltimore County. I'm going to do a video on a new build, highlighting the features. I've talked to her. I know what she wants. And I'm going to do that video for her. Is it going to be out in the world? Yes, it is. Am I going to have her specifically in mind? A hundred percent. So then I can add value to that potential client and add a value to my lead generation out here in video land. Another thing you can do is really write out your names of the people that you've helped in the past and go through specifically what were their challenges, what were their struggles, and talk to that struggle or problem. 
or opportunity. It doesn't always have to be a negative, right? It could be you help someone find this opportunity, like the Smart Buy program in Maryland, where buyers can get their student loans paid off up to $50,000. That's huge. But it comes across different if I'm just talking in general and saying, hey, home buyers, which I don't think you should ever say home buyers because they don't associate themselves that way, or sellers. When I, if I had said, oh, hey, buyers, if you're looking for assistance with, with buying a home, you should try this, this, or this. No, it more has to be, if you have student loans up to $50,000, but that's preventing you from buying a house, make sure you check out the Smart Buy program. Do you see how that's specific to one, that's specific to one person that maybe I've helped or am going to help? That is an individual. If these felt too simple, it's because they kind of are that simple, but no one thinks about them and everyone's just going through their day and rushing, rushing, rushing. If you do these, you are gonna convert better, regardless of whether it's video, post, on the phone, in person, you will convert better. If you want help, posting stories, learning how to create content that attracts sellers and specific types of clients. I'm going to post and highlight some videos down below this in this description. If you want to check them out, they will set you off on making great content. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video where I'm going to help you build your business even further and probably save you some time and money along the way. Hit the thumbs up if you like this and make sure you share it with an agent who you think this might help them grow their business.